Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation Made Easy. Today we'll be going over a maneuver that is as challenging as it is thrilling. The steep turn. Whether you are preparing for your next check ride or just want to sharpen your flight skills, mastering the steep turn can take your flying to a new level. So buckle up as we uncover the secrets to performing a perfect steep turn. Now in this video we'll be covering everything you need to know about steep turns, we'll talk about the purpose of a steep turn, the essential theory behind the maneuver, and some of the key elements to watch out for to ensure your turns are smooth, coordinated and precise. So by the end of the video you'll have a strong understanding of what it takes to execute a quality steep turn. We will be providing a video with all the tricks and tips, but for now let's go over the theory. So what exactly is a steep turn? At its core, it is just two 360 degree turns using a bank angle between 45 and 60 degrees of bank. Usually for the PPL it's going to be 45 and the commercial will be 50 degrees of bank on the AECS standards. The objective here isn't just to turn the airplane it's to develop a pilot's ability to control the aircraft smoothly, maintain coordination, and manage the increased g-forces that come with sharper banks. We are also training our eyes and instincts to keep track of the horizon, monitor our instruments, and scan for traffic, all while executing the turn, so it could be slightly challenging at first. When we enter a steep turn, we experience a few interesting forces and effects. First, there's an increase in low factor, or as people like to call it, g-forces, which grows as we bank. So at a 45 degree angle of bank, this load factor reaches around 1.4, and at 60, it doubles to 2.0. This means that both you and the airplane feels twice as heavy, making precise control even more critical. Something that's very important to take into consideration is that we'll also encounter something known as the overbanking tendency. So, as the bank angle gets steeper, the plane naturally wants to roll deeper into the turn. This requires us to hold opposite aileron pressure and coordinate with the rudder to maintain control. It's one of the key challenges that makes steeper turns an advanced maneuver. Now before talking about all the tricks and tips to perform on a steep turn, let's first talk about how forces act on an airplane is different in various scenarios. Level flight, medium turns, and steep turns. So in a level flight, two forces are in perfect balance, which is the lift pulls the airplane upwards while weight or gravity pulls it downwards. These opposing forces keep the airplane steady and fly straight. Now, when the airplane tilts or banks to make a turn, things change and get slightly more complicated. The force of lift tilts as well. Lift now gets split into two components. We have the vertical component of lift, which keeps the airplane from losing altitude, and the horizontal component of lift, also known as the, you can think of it as the centripetal force, which pulls the airplane inward, guiding it into the turn. But there is a, also a natural reaction to the turn called the centripetal force. This outward force balances the inward pull of the horizontal lip, keeping the turn smooth and coordinated. In a steep turn, the tilt of the airplane and the lift becomes more extreme. The vertical component of lift has to work harder to counteract gravity, while the horizontal component increases to maintain the sharper turn. This also increases the resultant load, meaning the plane and the pilot feel more force, often referred to as G-force, as we already mentioned. Now, when performing a steep turn, there's many different types of tricks you can implement in order to execute the maneuver smoothly. But whatever works for you, uh, keep practicing that. I'll just give you uh, generic tricks and tips as possible. Now as a general rule of thumb, always try to execute this maneuver with around 100 to 200 extra RPM as you enter the turn, because this will compensate for the loss of vertical lift caused by the bank and keep your altitude steady. 
Next, not just for this maneuver, but generally speaking, uh, look outside. Use the outside horizon. Use the nose of the, your airplane to slice that horizon as you maintain your bank angle. Think of it as your visual guide. It shows you if you're climbing, descending, or perfectly level. Now, as you level off to start banking on the opposite side, the perspective of the horizon will change, meaning you're not gonna use the nose as you were using it initially, but you're gonna start using the edge of the cowling to bank to the other side. That's the only perspective that changes so you technically don't uh, keep on slicing the horizon with the nose, but instead you do it with the edge of the cowling. Now, don't forget about your feet. Apply smooth rudder input to stay coordinated. This keeps the turn balanced and prevents any slipping or skidding. The sufficient back pressure is one of the tough ones because a lot of people don't know if they're applying too much or too little, but it, sh it should feel good when you are flying uh, maintaining that altitude. This counters the loss of lift and ensures you stay level during the turn. Now if you don't know how much exactly to push, as a general rule of thumb, apply three notches of trim upwards to, um, to maintain that correct path and adjust smoothly. Remember, increase power, slice the horizon and use rudder input and apply back pressure or three notches of nose uh, trim up. Now, if what we have already covered still doesn't allow you to execute a decent steep turn, what you could alternatively do is bring your attention to the attitude indicator. Make sure once you initiate the turn, you keep the orange ball slightly above the artificial horizon and obviously indicating 45 degrees of bank. This tends to help certain people, it's not for everyone, but I would strongly encourage you to bring all of your attention outside, as well as scanning your instruments at the same time. So the, the key element to perform a good steep turn, divert your attention at all times to your outside visual reference, which is the horizon, your altimeter, your instruments, and constantly cross-check everything. All right guys, and to be honest, the best way of performing a steep turn to the best of your ability is to become aware of the most common errors, which I will put a list out for you right now. So just be aware of them and try to do the opposite. Well guys, that is all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time.